Welcome Sagittarius. I want to say thank you for being here. This is the Quantum Business Healing for the month of October, November, and December. All right, Sagittarian. What I see is that a whole lot of you Sagittarian have to pay back some money. But what we're seeing is that make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. So, wow, wow, wow. All right. So it is, yeah, the time for the wishing because your birthday is coming up. So this is uh, um, your birthday, Sagittarian. And in the month of December, November, in November, December is your birthday. Some sort of a situation is transpiring. And I see that some sort of a, you are in some sort of a hardship because a Taurus, Virgo or a Capricorn person and um, people in power. Now, whatever the issue and the situation is, is that some of you could have done something to this woman and you have to be resolving the situation and people in power, managers could be having some sort of a problem. I see you Sagittarian, they're going to be charging you to pay a whole lot of money back to an employee, an ex um, co-worker, um, whoever this person is, I see that you're going to be having some problems uh, because you have uh, either act, um, do something to this person in the past uh, because they are the center of the squatel where you are dealing with some hardship. It has to do with a young um, Leo that some of you um, together with a Capricorn and I see you have to pay back a uh, uh, Capricorn Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, a whole lot of money because of something that you have done. I see that managers are trying to resolve how much is it you have to pay back this person because of uh, some sort of a situation. It could be an employee, employer prob um, situation issues that um, came up in the past um, because you can notice that whatever the situation is, is in the past. Some of you are dealing with a young air, um, Leo, this person is between the age of 18 and 45 that has brought you in a lot of trouble. And I see whoever this Leo is and whatever has transpired, there is a situation with a Taurus that is involved. So, and it's something to do with a young Leo and a Taurus, some sort of a situation with a young Leo and a Taurus has brought some of you Sagittarian in some sort of a problem that you need to resolve. So I see hardship for you Sagittarian and it has to be um, uh, doing with a, um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman. This could be a boss. It could be your boss um, that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman. You, um, is, uh, um, you have to deal with some sort of a situation because I see that your manager is going to be making some sort of a decision how much you need to pay back this person and um, what you have done to this person and what it has cost them and how much you need to pay back this person. So it is um, some sort of a, um, you are stuck between, um, yeah, the, the, the sea and, the, uh, and, and, and a whole lot of situation a Sagittarian that you have created um, and you have to create the situation in the past and I see the truth is coming back because they're looking at um, something that has transpired in the past and seeing um, a young um, a young uh, Leo or a young fire sign. You have worked with a young Leo or a young fire sign person and a Taurus in order to work against either your manager or a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and I see people in power and I see a Taurus is going to be throwing some of you under the bus and I see you're standing your ground but some sort of a decision is going to be made all, um, by your boss or people in authority um, um, against you Sagittarian and I see that uh, um, you're thinking about some sort of a past decision and you Sagittarian have to pay out a whole lot of money. For the rest of you who are just positively going through and creating um, stability in your world, for the rest of you, you're going to be okay. But whatever is happening and it's transpiring, I see 
um, that you, Sagittarius, were going to be having some sort of a problem that was created in your world. However, you have created these problems, whatever that was happening and transpiring. I see that it is coming to light and they are going to be um, awarding you and, 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 uh, and Leo. You and Leo needs to pay um, back a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, because of something that you did to this person, whether you fired this person on the false pretense or however this has transpired, it has something to do with some sort of illegalities where you have uh, um, overgone some sort of uh, um, rules and regulation and they are coming down on you, Sagittarian. So, Wow, Saji, you are going through a lot, Saji. Okay, you are really going through a lot. So, um, let's go in and see what sort of energy is coming up for you guys. Um, wow, it's just a masculine energy. It's a masculine energy. It's about the ego. It's about dealing with people who are using their ego. It's a very heavy masculine energy that is happening and transpiring and you guys are going to be dealing with a lot of uh, issue and situation where you are trying to um, um move forward but it's not happening you're going through some sort of a hardship uh, um with people in power because of a young um uh, leo that has created some sort of an issue and i see um you're really trying to move through these uh, situation but this fire sign person whoever this fire sign person is um you are really having some problems so, so a lot of you uh, sagittarians especially young people are having some sort of an issue that was created and uh, you're trying to figure out how to resolve this situation okay and it is not one of these easiest things it's not something that you can say okay i snap my finger and that's it it is uh, some huge um, problems uh, that you're dealing with. Some of you older people are dealing with some of uh, younger fire sign people on the work floor. That is creating a whole lot of issues. Okay. So business situation is going to be coming up. Uh, um, Sagittarian business women. I see you could be coming out of some sort of a hardship coming um, in. And some of you could be having some sort of a hardship in the month of December. Now, it is really, really um, a time where um, Jupiter is going to be coming back in your sign. Some of you, it might, uh, um, I think um, Jupiter is coming back in your sign, but it has been um, for a long time out of your sign. So I'm all really wishing for you guys that uh, by December, Jupiter will return in your sign because Sagittarians, you have been going through a whole lot, okay? And you are one of the luckiest signs because you're ruled by Jupiter, but a whole lot of the situation is affecting you Sagittarians' life. And when Jupiter is out of your sign, you were seeing these energies the whole month, the whole year of 2020. From December last year, you Sagittarians have been going through a lot, okay? And now there is actually going to be bringing back some sort of a balance in your materialistic world. Um, and uh, you are going to be trying to resolve all the issues, get it out of the spirit. So you have the wish card. So this is good for you, Sagittarian. So um, be aware this is a masculine energy. Um, make no decision in these three months is not of the a good time to make any decision Sagittarians because you are moving through and going through some sort of a problem and situation that was affecting your life and you need to um resolve this before you moved out in the month the the new year that is coming up please go back and listen to the by readings the by readings the last part of the by readings the two last month of october the two first week of october will advise you sagittarian as to what is going to be happening and how um you need to work on things and resolve things in your life so this is going to be good all right sagi let's get in your reading so i see in the month of uh, October, you young 
um Sagittarians have to pay back a whole lot of money whatever is happening and transpiring um it could be a business situation that was happening um it could be um you have to pay out a lot of money um in the month of October so Sagittarians especially young people between the age of 18 and 45 there is a lot of money that you have to pay back however this is coming up and transpiring it could be a loan um it could be some sort of a um situation that comes back from the past in order um to affect you now at this moment and i see in october you um are going to be have to pay him back some sort of a money or um healing some sort of an issue that you have done in the past if you notice uh, um on the right hand side there's one two there is a uh, um the air vent and definitely some of you or dealing with a Taurus, whoever the Taurus is, the Taurus is a businessman and a businesswoman. Okay, so you Taurus is a, you Sagittarian is do, dealing with some sort of a Taurus person and a Capricorn businessman that you and this man has done something, and you are you are both under the insect of uh, um, justice or under the insect of people um in authority and there um there you are seeing that some of you young people um some of you people have to pay back some money in the month of october so sagittarian i see this um this is really a sensitive sensitive uh, three months that is coming up remember ladies and gentlemen this reading as an extended so you can follow us to the other side when we are ending this reading to see the extended, you can use the link in order to get to my website. Three readings is 15% off. It is always advised to look at the last three months with the quarters to see what happened in September coming in this new quarter. Then I want to advise you guys, do not make any decision um, in these last three months. It is not the time for you to make the decision. It is not going to be um, working out. Um, um, so be aware of this, Sagittarian. Stay clear of making any decision until you leave the year 2020 going into 2021. So business people, you have to have your heads, uh, your, your, um, you know, have your head on your body when it comes up to signing any contract or making any changes. You have to think this through. It's as if these three months is going to be a time for you to think things through before you make any decision. As we look at the month of November, you are standing your ground, Sagittarian. Standing your ground, some sort of a decision needs to be made. It could be you that is a personal officer or a personal assistant or an accountant or um someone who runs a department you have to make decision about who will stay who will go um contracts that needs to be changed and things that need reorganization okay the two of pentacles is always about making decisions and making some sort of a reorganization could be coming up where you sagittarians are at the end that you have to find out uh, um a way of uh, making um decision for the coming year so sagittarian be aware of this so what we are seeing is that there is some sort of uh, um yeah stability instability that is there um in the lives of you sagittarians um some sort of an instability that you have to bring back in balance it's like things career business wise money wise is in out of bounds for you guys and you have to bring back this uh, um, situation in balance okay the energy that is coming up is that you um, Sagittarian really have to pay out some money if you notice the end is giving out the money so a lot of you Sagittarian yeah this is uh, um, these three months is about the time of uh, um, resolving um, your financial situation resolving issues that is going to be uh, affecting your financial world and remember whatever is happening and, and transparency 
Um, and you are the only one that can make this decision. No one else can help you to make this decision. So I see a lot of you Sagittarian have a whole lot of work, but you have to make some sort of a decision. You have to re you reorganize something. You have to correct, uh, uh, um, correct something that you have done from the past. So, and, uh, um, you have a lot on your plate in the month of November. So November is going to be a powerful, um, time where you're trying to find your inner strength to stand your grounds because a whole lot is going on around you and, um, it's as if people are depending on you, um, whether it's your team workers or whether you, it's employees or if you run a business, people wants to know what is coming up for them in the new year. So I see November is going to be a safe, um, time for you, Sagittarians, because you are trying to, um, resolve and reorganize here things and making sure that um, you are capable to take on whatever is coming on in the new year. As we look at December, December is going to be some sort of a hardship that is going to be coming in in December for you, Sagittarian. Um, you're out in the cold, some of you. Um, you're dealing with um, things with your boss. Um, some of you are dealing with people in authority. There is just some sort of a problems that is coming up. You're dealing with a Taurus and uh, you realize that this Taurus has somehow throw you under the bus, okay? So it is some sort of a past issue that is going to be coming um, back from the past that you are either dealing with a Taurus or you're dealing with people in power or you're dealing with your boss, okay? And whatever this issue and the situation is, it has to do with something to do with the stability. If you're a businesswoman, I see that some of your business women are going to be having some sort of a problem, but the people who are doing good and has been um, you know, going through and doing things in the correct way. I see the shift of energy is going to be bringing you to a positive alignment of energies and it is going to be beautiful. But for the rest of you, you're going to be having some sort of issues um, with your boss or um, people above you. Some sort of an issue is happening and transpiring and you Sagittarian are really having it's hard to deal with whoever these people are and whatever that has been happening and transpiring. It is as if you are trying to find yourself out of some sort of a situation that had occurred in your life. It could be a um, situation that you were dealing with. I see some of you were dealing with a... Um, a, a, a Capricorn, some of you were dealing with a Leo, uh, some of you were dealing with some sort of a fire sign, young people, um, and you're dealing with a Taurus. So expect these situations, especially in the month of uh, um, the month of November, you're dealing with young fire sign people, people um, between the ages, ages of 18 and 45. And it has to do with something from the past, like a couple a couple of years ago, some sort of an issue. And then in the, the month of November, you're dealing with um, this situation where you have to make some sort of a decision for a Leo. Whoever this Leo is, there's some sort of a competition or some sort of a situation you're dealing with a Leo. And you have to either make some decision um, and you have to help this um, person either financially or you're trying to balance out some sort of an issue. When we look what you're dealing with with a Taurus person, um, this Taurus person is a manager and this man and this manager or this person is uh, in a top of the end. So it could have been that you asked this person to do something in the past and this person came back uh, and throw you under the bus in the future. So Sagi, it is a, a really touch and go period for you. There is no question about it. It is really a touch and go period because it's as if uh, you're clearing karmas and um, clearing karmas because uh, um, there's a lot of situation um, that is transpiring and especially um, you're dealing with a young person and whether this young person is, it's as if they throw you under the bus. So it could be a young person on the work floor or a young person that you try to help basically throw you on the bus. And you're dealing with these um, 
young fireside people or young people that put you know bring you in some sort of a hardship on the workflow with management okay so you could be protecting them and fighting with management in order for them to um keep their job or um management could be saying listen um you have all these young people on your team it costs us more get one person to fill their position and I see that it is going to be very hard for you, Sagittarian, whatever is happening and transpiring, it is going to be extremely hard for you, Sagittarians, because this is something that you um, are facing, facing um, losing your job in order to res um, uh, um, protect um, these people on your team or um, your people who works for you or, but you are standing in a very hard position in this quarter. So, uh, Sagittarian, whatever is happening and transpiring, you have to go back. It's as if some of you have to go back and try to figure out what exactly um, you had done in order to um, uh, um, find yourself in this position. Because you, some of you, Sagittarian, is in a position, you came into a position because of some sort of an issue that was created so be aware of this it is not very easy but yet still you have to move through this and uh, try to come out on the other side this reading is ex an extended reading if you'd like to pick it up use the link below thumbs up like and share these videos namaste until next time